Yakata, with refinery like this, we could provide enough power to live all. Good. Heinrich finally sent you. Let's get started. How am I supposed to help? You're the doctors here, not me. The treatment has to attack the infection in a few ways. Medically, technologically, and psychologically. You're here for the last part. Look, I'm glad there's a cure, but I don't understand what you need me for. One of the things that baffled us about the infection is even when we cleared up all of these symptoms, the patient still wouldn't respond to external stimuli. Eventually, we discovered a psychological connection was necessary for recovery. Psychological connection? What do you mean? We need someone who the patient felt a psychological connection to, in order to bring them back. Our patient is an agent, and our personnel files show that he has a high level of respect for you. You're experimenting on an agent? Yes. He may be a sleepwalker, but he's still an XCOM agent. And that means taking risks. I'm sure he'd agree if he could communicate. Fighting the good fight even while he's infected, huh? Okay, I'm in. What happens if this doesn't work? Physically, he'll be fine. But every time we attempt this without him recovering, he slips further and further. Then let's get it right the first time. Sounds like a plan. So what will I be doing in there? I'm no surgeon. Nurse Campbell will be handling all of the medical procedures and assisting you. We just need you to be an active participant and be ready to respond as he begins to come around. What should I expect? It's sort of like waking a sleeping child. They're trapped in a dream world, and you have to bring them out of it. Give them a reason to wake up. Hell, why don't you just smack them? Always worked on me when I was a kid. No, no, no. It can't be that violent or distressing. Try something friendlier. Something to draw them out. I'm not known for being friendly, Doc. I've heard. But too much pressure, and they might retreat back to the dream world. Apparently, Mosaic has built quite a comforting prison in their heads. Sounds cozy. I can see why they wouldn't want to come back into this world. It's like breaking an addiction. You need to help them. But you have to be stern, but not so much that you drive them back. Friendly, stern, but not too stern. Got it. Let's get to it. If you're right, this should be easy. If it were easy, we would have cured it a long time ago, Carter. Now hold still. C good luck, Carter. Speak of the devil. He's all ready. Try talking to him. How are you doing, pal? M m my time is up. Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. L looks l like. No response. Reapplying. Try him again. How are you doing, pal? M m my time is up. No, you don't. Wake up, soldier. T time is up. No response. Reapplying. Try him again. How are you doing, pal? M m my time is. Uh, Come on, Agent. It's time to wake up now. Huh? Just... leave me. Pulse is up slightly. You're getting through to him. Go on. Come on. It's time to wake up. N no. M more war. It's okay. The war's over. You can wake up now. Good. I'll... Just sleep a little. He's slipping back. Try it again. Come on. It's time to wake up. N no. M more war. Come on. You don't want to miss humanity's finest hour, do you? Yes. G got to get up. Keep going. Almost there. That's right. You've got to wake up. <sighs> got to get up. Yes. You can't give up now. Car Carter. I had the, the weird, weirdest nightmare. 
You've got him, Carter. He's awake. What happened? We'll tell you all about it, but first, we need to get you back to health. Carter, I owe you... Nice job, Carter. One. Looks like you were just what he needed. Try not to talk now. You've lost a lot of strength. Heinrich... Officer. I trust the Infiltrator is secure. Oh, he's been an absolute pussycat since you killed Axis. Can't tell what's gotten into him, but either way, he's secured. Strange, but I won't complain. Just watch yourself with him. Of course, sir. Vigilance is my watchword. Okay, then. And how are you holding up? Oh, that's a little more complicated. We can't afford to take chances this close to launch. If there are any security concerns, I need to know. Believe me, I know. And the entire security team is on high alert. Enemy has yet to find our location, but we've been putting in defenses to prepare for the day they do. Good to know, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Security can't afford to be optimistic in something like that, sir. I'm not sure I trust him being this quiet. He might be planning something. I don't think so. He hasn't said a word to anyone, and he's barely eaten anything. And he's still disconnected from Mosaic. Hmm. Maybe he's sick or... Hell, I don't know. Ever since he heard you got access, it's like he's waiting for something. I wonder how he'll respond if we shut down Mosaic. When, sir. Not if. I know you'll do it. I heard about your family troubles. Any improvement? Oh, Percy and his team brought my girl back, along with the rest of the family. It was nice to have a chance to talk with her, but before the infection got too bad. I know how tough that can be. But don't worry, she's in good hands. Oh, I know. It's just that, well, my parents were staying with her. And they were drinking the same water she was. Oh. We don't know how much time they've got left. Maybe it won't even hit them, but at least they're here. I've got to get going. Of course, sir. Go and put an end to this war. For all of us. William Carter, it is you. You're not normally like this. I am not sure. I was having visions of Axis, of origin, of my people. Dreaming, huh? Perhaps that is the name for it. It has been more intense since I was disconnected from Mosaic. You mentioned your dreams. What do you see in them? My people, rushing forwards like a tide on the ocean, surging across your world, building everywhere they touch. Your people are gone, and mine are at peace once again. Sure sounds like your war plan. Too bad you already lost Axis. Death is an obstacle. He is carried on in mosaic. They are all carried on in the endless sea. And above them all stands Origin, leading us home. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna make sure of that. Of course, William Carter. Or you will die trying. I would expect nothing less from a warrior. What's with the sleeping act? Who are you trying to trick? I have no illusions about your hospitality. No illness, real or feigned, would stop your scientists in there tests. If you think you can get us to... William Carter, I have no intention of leaving. In fact, I hope to stay. Nothing will be more pleasant than watching your people screaming in terror as their last hope falls. I want to know about where you come from. Now why would you need to know that, I wonder? You can tell me now. Or I can go get a couple of the scientists. Anything I say will be useless to you. The moment you arrive at our homeworld, you will be captured. Back to sleep. You'll need to be rested for the next batch of tests. I will be reflecting on our coming victory. I am sure I will not have long to wait. Ah, William. Good news, I hope. Come, come. It was touch and go for a while. 
But the cure worked. Excellent. Excellent. If the underlying process is successful, then perhaps we can find a solution for the messes. I sure hope so. You can't get me to be friendly to everybody in the world. I was surprised we were able to get you to do so for even one. <laughs> Back to work. Get those evacuation orders out, and keep the agents defending the high-profile targets. Yes, sir. Understood. We'll keep everything running until you return. Your inexplicable confidence is noted and appreciated, Chelsky. Well, here's Carter now. Carter, good. I'm told that everything is ready. Yes, sir. Glad to hear it. We'll depart within the hour. That's it? Carter? No speeches? Nothing to say? This isn't the time for speeches, Carter. You know what's at stake, and you know the odds. Yes, sir, I do. I'd expect no less. I'm ready to put these bastards in the ground for good, no matter what it costs. I know. You once asked me why I chose you, despite your record. This is why, Carter. Because you're a man who will not quit, no matter what. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Prove me right. Get out there and get it done. I just don't understand. Our missions have been a success. No, your missions have been a success, if you'd call losing two towns and barely escaping with your objective successful. And even so, no one else has your success rate in the field. We can get more agents, better training. The outsiders are the ones with an endless stream of troops, not us. There's only one option. We've got to take the fight to them. Hasn't this Origin been around for... well, forever for all we know? What if stopping him and shutting down Mosaic isn't as simple as shooting him in the head? We've made every preparation we can with the information we have. And if that's not enough, well, you've shown a talent for thinking on your feet. You're telling me to improvise? That's a change. What if we get there and I don't have the tools I need? Don't worry, I've got a backup plan. But frankly, you're the best chance we've got. Supposing we do manage to close the gates, what happens to the outsider forces on Earth? I'm leaving a detailed battle plan. It's currently being distributed to the acting Joint Chiefs. The hope is that once we've separated our world from theirs, enemy supply lines will be cut off and the individual enemy platoons will be severed from the Central Command. This ought to give our military the edge they need to finish things. Doesn't sound like you plan on being around for the cleanup. The odds of us returning from this mission are slim. No use pretending otherwise. I'm ready to go. I'll meet you in the Avenger. You know what's at stake here, Carter. And you know the odds. You've survived this long. I know you're the right man for the job. Operations unknown. Are you selected to staff anything? 
Looks like you're finally gonna get to take a ride in this death trap, huh? Wrong. <laughs> you're the one taking the ride. I get to be the one flying it. You think it's ready for the trip? It's you and the rest of the team I'm worried about. This beauty is all ready. Assuming you can help me with one last detail. You got a platoon of engineers and mechanics on this thing. What do you need me for? Everything's up and running, but we're picking up evidence of leaks in the fuel system. Problem is, they're too small for us to spot with the naked eye. Leaks? Should I be wearing a hazmat suit? Nothing that dangerous, but it could cause a fuel leak in the field. Or an explosive chain reaction. If it'll keep this contraption in one piece, count me in. But how am I supposed to help? If you scan the Avenger with that thing on your arm, you should be able to detect the leaks. Point them out to us and we'll handle the rest. That's all? Walk in the park, Barnes. We're gonna be relying on your work. I sure hope it makes the grade, Doctor. As do I. You're not the only one whose life is on the line. Can't say I relish the risk of dying so far away from home, but how many scientists have a chance to see an alien world? Don't think of it as dying far away from home. Think of it as dying to save your home. Um, yes. That's much more comforting, isn't it? There's not a lot of time. Understood. Go check on Weir for the target's coordinates. I'll be ready when you are. We're taking the fight to them this time. Crossing into their world here. Penetrating the core of their network and separating our worlds permanently. Any questions? Have you been able to pinpoint the location of the Mosaic Nexus? Yes, we've tracked down the... Jesus Christ, Falk. What the hell is that? We're not attending a peace talk, Angela. I intend to put a stop to Origin once and for all. You've been busy. Indeed. Refining the Illyrium to its most volatile state was only part of the process. Combining that... You did with what? Good God, that thing will take out Origin and all of us with it! It may come to that, Doctor. And if that's what it takes to end this war, so be it. Prepare the ship for immediate departure. We leave as soon as the device is installed. Target's up ahead. Just around this next bend. Stay sharp, Barnes. We'll be in range of their detectors soon. We've been in range. Looks like Heinrich really came through for us. With his signal jammer, perhaps. I just hope he can say the same for the bloody monstrosity he's strapped to our belly. The explosive will work as designed, Doctor. It has to. They've built their operation under the lake! Hang on! We're not getting in that way. The hole stitched itself right up. Then we unstitch it. Exactly. Set her down. Right, Carter. We need to disable their security system if we're going to pass through that opening in the dam. Right. The Vengate. Actually, that's not the Vengate. 
Our readings tell us the Venn gate is hidden behind the dam, under the reservoir. It's a good bet they're siphoning the dam's power output to manage the aperture's defenses. I see. Okay, so disable the security system. Great. Anybody have any idea how to do that? Weir's pulling up schematics for the dam. Start with the facility's main entrance across the lower courtyard. That's who we're after. Sounds like we've got him on the run. What are you, deaf? He's initiating the final phase of the war plan. He's talking about the beginning of the goddamn end. it off. Hit 
Deploying bluff. Lay down a mine. Mine deployed. I'm in. Where to now? 